as you had manual labor. To do all this work, how hard that would have been. Alright? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Beautiful sunshine day today here in Georgetown, Guyana. Another beautiful day. Hey, I'm driving around. I don't know what I'm going to record for you guys, but I hope you're doing okay. You're being fun and positive. Join me and let's go in search of another adventure. I heard up the east side. The better side or the good side. I have some construction going on in Montrose. I'm gonna show you how the boys you know, working there. How construction are being done in Guyana. The Sheriff Street area. Look at all the big trucks there, boy. A lot of construction in Guyana right now, and uh, happening. Nice, nice. The work continues here, by Alright, man, let's just follow up and show you. Here are the shows. Uh, the transport is So, pro, I do see a soap coming here. This man is a fan of the show, right? Hold on. You said be watching the show, man. And you'll see you at a go fishing, I think. All right. You want to pick up any one of your partners, man? Go on, shout out. Here we go. Shout out to Bay. Anand. Anand? Yeah. All right. And shout man, too? Yeah, shout man. man. Big up to you, man. Special yeah. meeting, man. And the man Stanley, if you want truck, this man right here. And number one diesel mechanic. He traded with Celine you know. or sand and thing, you can contact this man, right? But then the ERD and I can give you all the contact. You want to be a number or you want to be a number? Yeah. Six four one seven nine eight seven. It's a Charlie man. If you want to move sand, stone, mud or you need a mechanic, call this one. Alright? Now look around to a super fan here man. Recognize me now as I walk through the door. <laughs> We don't hear by Gaffer yeah, buying some stuff. Right. What's your name, Uncle? Buckley. Sure. Buckley, where are you from? I get the price. And the price? <laughs> I like the price, Gaffer. You want to say hello to anyone? Hello to anyone? Hello to the people. 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 We're trapping in the steel, you know. Manual labor, we ain't got machine at this moment to lift it. But if you had machine, it would have been perfect, you know. We're trapping in the steel, so we're hoping to cast the foundation to pour the concrete tomorrow. Good morning, another beautiful morning, another beautiful day. I'm on High Street, Kingston, by the Brian Tewari um, complex. Here, man. I'm gonna pay for my concrete, you know, ready mix concrete. All right, I got my partner here, by this man is a fan, by what's going on? You said the whole family is watching the show. Morning, man. Yeah. Who you want to big up? You want to shout them out? Well, all the ERD fans, uh, my wife, uh -huh. and children who is always with the program. No I problem. Big up. They have shout out to them. Lovely. And continue to support this channel. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah. it, right? Yeah. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, you too. Yeah, my buddy. So, I buy him a concrete here from um, Brian Tewari, all right? That's show the name. It's a BK Supermix. numbers all right 
that's the ready mix concrete in case you um, have construction you can't get workers just come right here and buy your concrete you have the, a lot of different companies in Guyana doing concrete but BK I buy mine from BK all right they want stone and thing they tell us have it here to man so I think I pay like about four to four thousand a cubic yard all right for 3,000 psi and you have um, 2,500 psi is about 40,000 per cubic yard just to get an average you have 4,000 psi too I'm not sure how much of that I didn't quote the price for that but this is um no this is water street not high street sorry I made a mistake yeah this is water street in Kingston all right i'm gonna pay for my concrete now look at the operation there you have all you have sand there's stone you know the mixing apparatus there and the ocean is right behind the um from, from the man the mighty demerara river and the um atlantic ocean that's free the hoop showing across here Beautiful scenery, man. A view from a higher altitude of Water Street. Yeah, the transport and harbors, all those color green and yellow and red. The buoy, that's transport. Transport is right next door to BK. If you want to travel to the Northwest, or you want to ship anything to the Northwest, transport is right next door. I got in a little view from a high altitude off Water Street. It's another brand new day. I'm here at Brian Tiwari BK International paying for my concrete. Hopefully, we cast the report the concrete today to cast the foundation. All right, so we're working, you know, slowly but surely. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, give it look. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, good to see you. 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 Yeah, good to Yeah, good to see you. 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 There's a busy um, what the street. Okay. Hey, what's the what's the one? <laughs> yeah, so um not a brand new day and we're doing great things, big things today. Alright? Life can never get better than this. Driving through Co One Street. Co One Street. To my right used to be the um, train station, you know, back then. Well, Guyana had train, you know. They're renovating the train station. I, I heard they want to make it to a tourist destination, you know, like an evening walk out, like a park, like, you know, a sidewalk or boardwalk where you can come and have some restaurants and, you know, other entertainments, which is a great idea. All right. See, this is their Cohen Street. And this is Parade Street, the cross street. Cross street is Parade Street. And fellas, there's a look. Look how nice this place looks, man. Wow, beautiful. You know, I gotta give credit where credit needed, you know. And Maha Street look really, really nice. Except for the traffic up ahead on Camp Street. Uh, approaching Camp Street there and it always got a lot of traffic. Trust me. Look how nice these buildings look in my really tall buildings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight or nine stories by right? Guyana, nice. Guyana, sweet. Man.
Yamaha Street now. Headed east. There's another tall building up ahead there. The Passion in George Tung Public Hospital. Right across here, this is our public hospital. Free medical. You know, this used to be the old Guyana Revenue Authority building. Now it's a ministry of human service. Look at the building here. All right, we're continuing the journey or the adventure or the construction. Here comes our truck with the concrete. Brian Tiwari, right? BK Concrete Mix. Or BK Super Mix Guyana Manual labor. To do all this work, how hard that would have been. Alright? This is how work can become easy when you got the right tools. We already finished pouring eight cubic yards. Looking up all good demo. He has to go back for four more cubic yards. Alright, 12 cubic yards is gonna complete the job. Numero dos, truck number two. Can't get better than this here, boy. Nice, nice. The work going on there. Easy work, man. Tomorrow we start laying the bricks. You see all the steel? That's the core wall. So we gotta, we gotta sand fill the yard a little bit higher. All right, so we have to um, put the steel and stuff. We can put some six inch, yeah, buddy. Put some six inch blocks at the bottom. And then when you backfill now, so the steel is to help, the rebar is to really help hold the blocks together from shifting, you know? So we gotta have to put it all the way through. Finally, finish pouring the concrete. Looking good. Later on, them fella gonna bring the blocks. And tomorrow morning, we're going to start applying the blocks to the um, fancy. All right. So we're looking up all good here, man. 
This man is a fan of this show, boy. The man asked him, you know me from somewhere, you know. <laughs> TV man. What, what are your name, man? Calvin. Calvin. Who you want, big up? Big up the Grove Crew. The Grove Crew? I got fired, right. no from Grove, just fish with you. Um, fish Pro. Fish Pro. Yeah. <laughs> no problem, buddy. Please to meet you, alright? No, no, man. Good to see you, yeah. Yeah, knock a thing there, you know, look. Look at them man knocking there, boy. Yeah, yeah, after a hard day work, you got, you got boss a shot now, boy? All right, all right, do your, do your thing, do your thing, boy. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, the evening slipping away. The boys just brought in a container there, you know. That probably came from China. Zim, I guess Zim is from China, I'm not sure. All right. Hey, couldn't get any better than this thing. Materials for you. Got your dung there. Blocks. Alright, you got some 4 inch and 6 inch blocks from the man Kenny. So yeah, I saw in another video, I went and I buy black from him in Enterprise. Alright, the sun set in there, boy. The evening slipping away, you know, the light slipping away. Let them chop the man. Am I knocking a thing there, Hatch? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After a hard day of work, you know, then by knocking a fine thing there, right? Another beautiful day here in Guyana. I'm exiting the Diamond Housing Project. Diamond Housing Scheme entering onto the east bank of the road. I got a man shot, man in front, you know, with the truck. See the sky is out more key look. It's a beautiful day, but the clouds are not nice. Looks like we have this Sahara dust. Once again, blowing across our beautiful skies. Oh yeah, look at these bad traffic there. Right? How busy can it get? This area need overpass, you know, so you could drive across, drive over. My diamond here. You need to get the overpass then, boy. Like how we have the overpass to walk over. We need the ones that you can drive over. To allow a smooth flow of traffic. Okay, I know it's a smooth. A smooth floor traffic. A pass, and this is Little Diamond, I think. Or that no, it's Diamond, Great Diamond, and you have Little Diamond. And to my right is where all them El Dorado just be made. <laughs> all right, I see construction going on there again. Right over here, you get the El Dorado. Maybe now all those um, huge tanks there. They have El Dorado stored here. Got a huge housing project at the back there, you know. 
a lot on the industrial site as well. You know, a lot of transformation happening over here, you know. A lot of huge companies, you know. They establish here and, you know, providing service to the Guyanese. celebrate yet another day here in Guyana. I'm on the East Bank. I had to cross to the West Bank and then to the East Coast of the Miraro. Let me continue the adventure. Republic Park or Nandi Park right across there. Hope the bridge is open. You want to get your dental stuff done? This guy right across here, Sipa Sar. Dental, alright, Anand. My mother used to come here, you know. And get her dental work done. Traffic. On the west side of the Demerara River, the West Bank. Plenty traffic, boy. And now it's 
10 o'clock in the morning and we have this much traffic heading into Georgetown. Imagine we're having traffic up to this hour. What the traffic looks like in the morning at 7 o'clock, 17, 7 and 9. Working hours, you know, workers trying to get to work. You can imagine. They're extending the road, making, making another lane there. They're adding a lane to the road there, you see that? How can life get any better than this? Friday afternoon, I'm in Parfait Harmony by Fish Pro. And look what Andrea surprised me with. Fresh Lacanani and nice pepper sauce. Andrea, thank you very much, darling. Life could never get better than this. Eh? Trust me, it tasted really, really fresh, really tasty. Thank you. Heading back over to Georgetown. I'm on the Demerara Harbor Bridge once again. I finished eating up all the fried fish Andrea gave to me. And now I'm making my way back to Georgetown. That's the Demerara River there, heading out to the mouth of the Atlantic Ocean. Beautiful sunshine day man, 88 degree. Snow 1 p.m. just after midday. The sun is really hot. It's at its hottest point. Look at the beauty of the mouth there. journey continues. I have to head back to the construction site now in Montrose. Back to construction site. Look at the mice. Walking there, you know. Looking up all good there. You guys are going to get to see how they cast the post these days before time they use the farm boards to make boxes and then they cast it but now this is how they do it all right they use the blocks to go around and then around the steel and then you pour the cement so you don't have to spend money on farm boards to make boxes you know waste time on um making the boxes money and time you're saving by using the blocks and your cast it's stronger it looks nicer because the posts are you know bigger it looks a bit more nicer unlike look those posts at the back there see how small they look now these are way bigger than those all right so them fellas doing the thing there man they're looking up The evening slipping away. The mice are almost finishing up there for the day. Straight looking busy that way. We got some garbage. Hi, hi, how you doing? <laughs> all right, all right. We got a neighbor there. Yeah, look, smoke at the back there, man. Somebody burning garbage over the back. Lights are fading. I am not seeing the sunset. We got some dark clouds lingering around, blocking the sunset there. All right. Okay. 
can I continue to work? Tomorrow is another brand new day. It's the evening slipping away. All right. Now, I'm buying some Balanche, you know. There's a young lady. She's selling Balanche. She said, Uncle, please do a sale. So you know what I just normally do, right? I can do it once again. Crawford, you'll be cooking Balanche curry. Balanche choker. Only, <laughs> only Balanche one time. Is how much for a parcel? $200 for a parcel, right? The young lady said. $200, yeah. Yeah. Okay, lad. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. I know the show, hold on, hold on. Look, uh, you're Look, you're from Florida. We're from Florida. Florida, Florida. Wow, wow, wow. You come here, I'm going to meet you. They're rich, you're the park. Yeah, the park, no, by, by, by the board, eh? Yeah, by nothing. By nothing, board. Santu. Santu, Santu, right. Wow, wow, wow. Santu, look. Yeah, the guest family. Permanent, so good, brother. Yes. Yeah, at the park there. You see, brother? Yeah. I reach so you, man. I, I I feature you for the show already. Yeah, yeah. Sure already. <laughs> I couldn't so. recognize you. Look young, my young one. What is it? The grace of good pasta, man. <laughs> you want to say hello to anybody? Um, the people them in Fort Lauderdale, the the Advice Cricket Club. Uh -huh. I buy them. Sister-in-law, brother-in-law, mother-in-law. My permanent. And permanent suku. Yeah, permanent suku. Yeah. No problem, man. Pleasure yeah. meeting you, man. Yeah, nice meeting you. you. I couldn't recognize you, man. All right. We come through and we... Pleasure, we pleasure. We looked at you from there and we said, this, this guy looks like you, I think. <laughs> yeah, we walk in. She said, no, um, yeah. we not. And then we know you, you got a house here. And, and, right, uh, right, right. So we're making the fence and thing here right, right now. And, and a few weeks ago or a month and a half ago, you decided you will come here in January or February yes. and do some work. Right. So. You're following the show? Yeah, I'm yeah, following the yeah, show. Yeah, we like, we like <laughs> the show, man. Yes. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Pleasure. Ah, show. Pleasure. Wow. Thank you all so much. Enjoy your show in Guyana. Thank Everybody you. come visit. More. More people come in and visit Guyana because of the ARD show. ARD show, yes. Wow, wow. Thank so, you all. So we're glad we see you here. Pleasure. Man. Likewise, likewise. Yeah. So the young lady have five parcel of um, Balanje. What did you tell me about you? One thousand, right? Good. So here you go. I give you five thousand now, right? You happy? All right, good. I want to put you on camera, man. Right? Good. So I buy five parcel of Balanje. Sheriff, the sheriff guy. Sheriff gonna be cooking. Think here. Yeah. Oh, you watch my videos. Oh, she's a fan of the show. And the young lady just watched my videos. So she like my videos. You like the videos? Christmas Center. Yeah, Christmas Center. I went by the Bet Hope Center. You went there? Yeah, I see it on TV. Oh, you see the video on TV? So she's telling me she went by the... I did a video by the uh, Bet Hope Center. And um, she was there. So she saw the video. You went there? But you don't see yourself in the video? Oh, man. <laughs> so I buy out your balanje here, right? Sheriff. So you're going to be making balanje choker. Tomorrow <laughs> at Roti. I did my act of kindness, right? Life couldn't get better than this. Eh? Alright, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the seawall here. I'm gonna place my order for some food. Miss Sin says she well I invited them to come out. I hope she and the kids come out. If not, I'm gonna take the food home. But I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the bandstand area as well. Right. Beautiful evening here on the sea wall, wall on the beach. Wonder what the weather looks like. Wow, the tides are low. Right? I'm now washing, washing up. This is a lot of traffic. They should really make this thing one way, heading east only, not two way traffic. Have these guys that park on the left to remove and park on the right only. Alright? And drivers, please note, yeah, please park on the other side of the road. Allow the vehicles, the motorists to pass freely, alright? There is some parade up ahead, that is why that is what's causing the traffic jam as well. But yo. So you are looking real nice, man. You are a sweet villa restaurant there, way. I know the sea wall has been lovers lane. I want to picture too much of people 
you know, before anybody run into trouble. <laughs> but I guess folks knows now with the social media popularity, if you're doing something, you know, and you don't want people to see you, well, the chances are very low for that, for not being seen. There is a promotion going on. Um, I just got myself two tortilla chips. All right. You have some works going on here. Wow. Somebody heard ARD. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. They're fixing the beach. Somebody heard me and I'm happy that they heard me and they're fixing it up. This is amazing. I, I didn't know this was happening. Look at that. They didn't even inform me by and tell me that, that they're doing some work that I recommend that they do. You see that? They need to tar it, make a second lane. Yes. So yes, they are listening to me. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> This is nice. Shift back all the businesses, yes, and have more lanes or more parking for folks. All right. But I could I could give in now. That's why these guys park on the left side. It's nice that they're fixing the road. Well, it's understood. But once it's finished, they should actually keep the traffic on this one side only, the right. They're doing a, a good job. Because a lot of folks come out to the beach, man, to, to celebrate, to enjoy. And I'm happy that they're doing uh, what they're doing here. So they're making from here. All right, so later on, they're going to move those guys. So, yeah, the beach looking up nice. Not so busy tonight. And what I don't like is loud music on the beach, all right? I would love if the fact that if these guys uh, come here and play the loud music and have some consideration and not to play their music too loud and to disturb the peace and then you have like 10 different guys playing music look see that as I, as I speak car with loud music you know it, it defeats the purpose of coming here to enjoy the evening on the on the beach with your family loud music you can't even talk just boom 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 in your ears some of the music is so dirty, you know, nasty music they're playing. I'm like, you all see touch. I got to piss my heart off my barbecue, you Sea know. touch, yeah, man. Caribbean flavor. Right, so I got to piss my heart off. I'll give you all a little tour of what's going on here. I see some big trucks out here, man. What's going on? Them fellas, I'm into it. Or they are doing part of the construction. Maybe these guys are part of the construction. Nah, the fellas lashing some barbecue. They're probably having dinner. When the light comes, it really blurs the camera up. So I'm getting back to the roundabout here now. Then I'm going to take you guys all the way to um, the bandstand for a little tour and hopefully my family come out to join me. If not, well, I'll have to take dinner for them. It's surprising that a lot of folks don't come at the end here. I need some lights here, man, on this deck so people can utilize this, um, this deck. You understand? If they hear me, those of you who listen to me, we need some solar lights on the deck, all right? come there feel safe and come out there all right so I'm going round and round here on the boat heading west to uh, the monster passing through by the Pegasus area it's a new Pegasus Hotel. I love how the 
decorate this piece of place here, man. It's really nicely done. But I should have allowed people to park over there. You know, you said no parking and you know folks still park on it. Because you have nowhere to park on the beach. Even this one said it should have allowed people to park. I used to park over there, but now they put chain. You can't park no more. Look how nice this place. Yeah, beautiful. Like fish put on the sea wall. Well, I know this can't end. Look like fish bro. <laughs> now where do I get a parking here? I don't know. The Esplanade. You can't park here, it says no parking. Oh they're building some little hot stair as well. I gotta go and pick up pizza for dinner. But don't worry, I have a nice pumpkin curry and fried fish with dal and rice for my dinner, all right? But the kids want pizza. So uh, yeah, we have a cheat night, Friday night. We have movie night tonight. So I'm heading home with pizza to watch movie with my family. I hope you guys enjoyed the two days tour with me. Hope you enjoy what you're seeing behind me here. Beautiful as can be. I'm on Regent Street. All right, by the Pizza Hut. Got Bina footwear across there, you know, Bina's. I used to get my shoes the back in the days, you know. I think they have a branch on Liberty Avenue as well. I <laughs> get in my pizza across here. And then we had him back. Then I had him back home for movie night. All right. I have a 20 minutes wait for my pizza. All right. Then I'll make my way home. I hope you guys enjoy the two days with me. Yeah, I remember. Those of you from George, I remember the late nights on the street, they have the buses. You know, working passenger or the taxis on the street here. Yeah, this is the hustle and bustle here in Georgetown. 8 30 p.m. and I dump here trying to get my pizza. And uh, yeah, then I headed home back for a movie night. So, hope you guys are staying positive, you're being fun. Take care of each other. God bless you all. Peace out. I'll see y'all on the next adventure.